avoid buying property that comes with the title C of O in view, which entails certificate of occupancy still under possession. Right? There are some real estate properties that you normally see C of O in view. It basically means that the the developer of that property has applied for a certificate of occupancy with respect to that property. However, it's still under approval. So because they cannot just wait for the approval to take place, they just go about selling those property. So I'm telling you today to avoid buying such property. This is because the land bureau has the powers to, you know, reject or deny or disapprove any application for a certificate of occupancy on some specific grounds. One of the grounds we are wherein the land registry or land bureau can deny an application for a certificate of occupancy is on the ground of incomplete documentation. All right, while applying for a certificate of occupancy, there are companies are asked or individuals are asked to provide some necessary documents. So if such companies or individual fails to meet up with these documents, the land bureau has the right to de deny the approval of the certificate of occupancy with respect to that particular property. All right. Another ground for such denial is based on um, title issues. Okay. There are some properties that has titles issues there are discrepancy as regards to title on that particular land it could be that there are persons who have better title on that land like the re-owner on that land uh, it could also be that there are there is already an existing c of o respect to that land it could be that the land is in dispute you know it has been in dispute for a long time so all these are um reason why the land bureau under this title heading can deny or reject an application for a certificate of occupancy okay another ground for such refusal is on the ground of non-compliance with the regulations okay ordinarily there are regulations that companies and individuals are expected to comply with with respect to their applications for a certificate of occupancy one is strict adherence to the zonal laws of that particular state or location all right so if an individual or a company fails to adhere to these laws the land bureau can as well deny or reject the application for a certificate of occupancy next on the list is the refusal or the neglect to pay taxes all right ordinarily they are taxes and payment that comes with land ownership in nigeria okay as a landowner you are expected or the company is expected to pay taxes with respect to that particular land so if the company fails to pay that tax which could be in the form of land use charge or grant grant tax then the the land bureau has the right not to grant that certificate of occupancy day that the company or the individual has applied for another reason is on the ground of, of defective survey plan or mapping out of that area okay um if for instance the company in question has a survey plan that is not that is irregular and, and humongously defective wherein the boundaries are not even well measured the coordinates are not are different from what's on the document the mapping out was erroneously done. The, on, in this instance, the land bureau or land industry has the right to reject such application for a certificate of occupancy. All right. And lastly, on this point is on the ground of fraudulent activities. Okay. There are times that these documents are forged and there is misrepresentation with respect to these documents. So if the land bureau could detect the forgery, or the representation in respect to this document then they have the right whatsoever to deny the application for the certificate of occupancy all right so now imagine you going ahead to buy a particular plot of land that comes with the title c of o in view and hoping that as time goes on the c of o will be approved but unfortunately for you an issue arose which falls under the issues i've stated earlier on and then the c of o was rejected it means that you've gotten a property or you've purchased a property with defective title that is why it is important that before you buy any property before you purchase any property or invest in real estate it's important you consult or speak to your lawyer not just any lawyer your property lawyer that is duly grounded with the property laws of nigeria all right 
he or she would be the one to you know put you in the right way to go okay my name is isaac okay okay i'm a property lawyer i'm a real estate entrepreneur who uses the machinery of the law to safeguard the interests of my clients but, and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so now turn on the bell notification so that you keep getting updates from me whenever i drop a video and if you not like this video do it to like this video share it to your friends and well wishers so they too can benefit from this video all right see you when i see you again